a scripture that has often intrigued me is Psalm 78 verse 63 which says the fire consumed their young men and their maidens were not given to marriage. It concerns me from the angle of marriage in the church. It looks to me as if the younger generation of brethren are not getting married or are getting married late or are getting married um, outside the understanding, outside this work. And I have to quickly place a caveat that I do not suggest that everybody must be married within the work. We are not sectarian. But I mean to suggest that we should not be unequally yoked and that it is not impossible that some who are not of this work physically are of this work spiritually and they have been touched by the Lord and when they come in contact with this work, this end time harvest, that they tend to be agreeable. But I'm concerned that some of our brethren who are getting married, get married to people who are resolutely opposed to this work. And in many cases, who pull them out of with the physical uh, understanding of the work, they, they, stop, they stop interacting with their brethren. For me, that's a major cause of concern. And I would like it addressed in the place of prayer and exhortation. Um, there are many reasons for that. One reason is our preferences. Some of our brethren look down on their own brethren. Familiarity breeds contempt. In some cases, some brethren simply do not find people of their in quote, social class within the move. And in some cases, they just fall in love or genuinely feel led to people from outside. But my own take is that we must be led to who we marry and the Lord will never lead us to a person we are unequally yoked with. And it is possible for two believers in Christ to be unequally yoked because of doctrinal or other positions. So, our brethren need to be led to marry sisters or brothers who are either in this work physically or in the spirit. If they are not in this work physically in the spirit, the Lord has told them and exposed them and granted them the understanding of this end time work which is built upon coming forth in the fullness of Christ built upon the breaking down and destruction of man-made systems and the freeing of the people of the Lord from all man-made systems and all worshipping the Lord one on one seeing the Lord and growing up into him to the fullness of Christ. That is my understanding. And it is a concern addressing one of the issues. It is a concern for me that brethren are not getting married early. That is another concern apart from the first one. But I will, for now, just emphasize on this one, that our brethren, it is in fact becoming a reproach. It is becoming a reproach to see brethren 
get married and stop fellowshipping with the visible structures of this work, even where they are in cities where these visible structures are. It is for me, I, I'm um, approaching reproachful dimensions. And I don't mean to be sectarian because I really, really believe that the Lord, the body of Christ is one and the Lord can lead us to marry um, his children who are not necessarily physically in this work. But where the Lord is behind such a leading, the two people are going to see eye to eye because the Lord has prepared the one who is not physically in this understanding has already prepared him and, and that person will in a matter of time a short time feel sufficiently exposed and opened to fellowship with the brethren where it lingers for years the person does not come but but takes away our brother or sister to a, a, a denominational structure i am very concerned and i think that there is something wrong with that and it's a cause for concern and prayer. May the Lord grant us understanding in Jesus' name.